A Modbus device template is an XML file describing the parameters for a Modbus slave device. The template contains information about the available Modbus registers and their data types, with scaling and offsets predefined. Different ways of displaying the parameters can also be determined in the template. For example, if the parameter should be writable or read-only, and if any enumeration should be applied. Device templates can be used for both the NetBiter Easy Connect and the WS models. To manage templates at NetBiter Argos, first go to the top level menu Management and then on to the menu item Templates. Once in this section, you'll be able to add a template or to upload one from file. Adding a device template actually means creating a device template using the online editor at NetBiter Argos. When a template is to be added, the available template types will be dependent on the NetBiter Gateway models already activated in the account. Click the button for Add Template. Select the template type, in this case Modbus, and give the template a suitable name. Then click the Save button. Click the plus sign to expand the template. Then click the plus sign for default group, and then click Add Parameter. Start by giving the parameter a descriptive name. If required, also add the unit to display values in, for example degrees Celsius. Modbus communication involves reading or writing to one of four register types. The type parameter defines the Modbus register type to use on the Modbus slave device. The register address required here is the address for the Modbus register in the slave device. This address should be available in the documentation provided with the slave device. Note that it is very common in device documentation for the initial digit in the Modbus address to indicate the type of register. For instance, the address 40028 would indicate a holding register with the address 28. The data type field is used to define the data type of the Modbus register. There is a wide range of data formats available. Values read from or written to a Modbus register can be modified before being presented or written. One way of modifying values is to use scaling. A scaling value is basically another value which is then used to divide the original value by. A value will be divided by the scaling value when it is read from the register or, in the other direction, multiplied by the scaling factor when writing to the register. An offset is another way to modify a value, and this is always applied after any scaling. The offset value is added to the register value before being presented, and also before it is written to a Modbus register. A template parameter can be set up in many different ways. The presentation field is used to set the parameter as read-only or as writable, and it also controls the use of any enumeration. By entering a string in the field for enumeration, it's possible to translate a value and present it in such a way that it makes more sense for the user. A typical example of enumeration is for the remote control of a diesel engine, where 1 could equal start and 0 could equal stop. To further manage the values returned by the parameter, the field for the number of decimals can be used to limit how many decimals are used to display the value. A mask can be used to mask out specific bits from the Modbus register. Valid range can be used to define the maximum and minimum values for a writable parameter. If a value outside the valid range is entered, there will be a warning message to this effect. When a device template is uploaded, it is saved to your own account at NetBiter Argos, which means that you are free to modify as required. A template to be uploaded can either be a custom template or it can be one of the ready-made templates available for download from the HMS website at support.netbiter.com. Whichever method you choose, the template must first be available locally before it can be uploaded to your own account. Your custom templates can of course be exported, which is to say that they can also be used in other NetBiter Argos accounts.
For more information on templates, please see the user documentation available at netbiter.com.